<laughs> Why don't we go over this one more time, Charlotte? Yes, ma'am. You went to the mailbox. You collected the mail. You brought it directly to me. You didn't drop anything. You didn't misplace anything. No, ma'am. Then where is my invitation, Charlotte? I don't know, ma'am. <laughs> you don't know. I believe I don't, ma'am. You do know the invitation to which I refer? Mrs. Bush's luncheon for Princess Diana, ma'am. Aha. So you do know. <laughs> Why hasn't it arrived? I don't know, ma'am. <laughs> guess, Charlotte. Take a guess. Maybe you weren't invited? <laughs> you know something. <laughs> no, I don't. Yes, you do. <laughs> I know you people talk. No, we don't. What do you know, Charlotte? Nothing. Am I invited? I don't know, ma'am. Why wouldn't I be invited? No reason, ma'am. Then I must be invited. Well, I really don't know, ma'am. Well, I'll ask you one more time, Charlotte. Am I invited? Am I invited? Yes, yes, you're invited! You're invited! <laughs> of course I'm invited. <sighs> Caving in, the money's running out. The little fish are drowning in the sea. But everything's okay, that's what they tell me. And I've got faith in the powers that be. That's right. One day we vote them in, the next they're selling out. Something fun is going on, it seems to me. But they say good times are just around the corner And I believe in the powers that be Hey, you've gotta be brave in the land of the free To believe in the powers that be Susan Trooper right on time. has been thoughtfully redesigned to include a new suspension system. Honey, pothole. I see it. Giving it an incredibly smooth, quiet ride on the road as well as off. Of course, these days, what's the difference? From Lean Curtis, Salon Selectives gives you the choices you need for salon beautiful hair. You've got the choice, you've got the right to be your most beautiful. With six salon shampoos and six conditioners, choose your combination and feel like you just stepped out of a salon. With Salon Selectives, choose to be your most beautiful. Some people say it's impossible to make a great tasting sandwich that's better for you. With new Healthy Choice cold cuts, they're about to eat their words and love it. Here's why. Tender chicken breast, oven roasted turkey, cooked ham. Delicious? Definitely. But lower in fat and sodium than the leading brand, and that's got to be better for you. For a sandwich this good, remember these words. Healthy Choice cold cuts. With Healthy Choice, the choice is yours. Maggie, love that room you put me in. The ceiling is so low, I had to lie on the floor to tease my hair. <laughs> Could you poof it up a little in the back, please? How can I put this as nicely as possible? <laughs> it's loathsome enough to have my husband's bastard daughter under my own roof, but I will not be her hair poofer. <laughs> well, dear. Gotcha. Oh, is that Princess Di? I love her. She must be very relieved that the boys got her ears. <laughs> well, I'll be sure to ask her. You know her? Well, as it happens, I 
will be attending a luncheon which the First Lady is giving for Princess Diana and 30 of Washington's most influential women. I'm back. Nothing like a good run to get the old heart racing. Good morning, Margaret. Oh, Bill, you're down. Good morning, Bill. Good morning, Sophie. Oh, I feel great. What a glorious day. Oh, Bill, must every day be glorious? Oh, Margaret, step outside. The sky is an amazing blue. And the, there's a crisp bite in the air. And the children are laughing all the way to school. And that, to you, is a glorious day? <laughs> Still worried about that invitation, huh? Not really. Thank you. You're welcome. Now, you always do this, and the invitation always comes. Yes, I suppose you're right. Perhaps it'll be in today's mail. I'm sure it will. <laughs> Gotta go up and shower. Sophie, I will see you later at the office. Yeah, sure. See you at the office. <laughs> see you at the office. I like that. Gotta go now, Pop, but I'll see you at the office. <laughs> Later, Maggie. I gotta go to the office. Hi, Charlie. How you doing this morning? Not so good. Okay. <laughs> Is it huh? It's about time. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. Did you get it? Uh, make a wild guess, I'd say, nope. <laughs> you didn't get it? Oh, Mommy, how can they invite the most influential women in town and not include you? Well, exactly. I'm sure it's just a mix-up of some kind. You may already be a winner. <laughs> And darling, be a good daughter and call the White House for Mummy. I'd do it myself, but it would make me seem eager. Uh, ask for Megan Quinn. She always takes my calls. And above all, be sure you do not sound obsequious. Mother, really? Hello? <laughs> Megan Quinn, please. Miss Quinn, I'm calling for Senator William Power's wife. We hope we haven't been rude in neglecting to RSVP to the princess's luncheon, but... Oh, well, that explains it. Thank you. Well? Mommy? <laughs> Spit it out, Caitlin. You're not on the list. You're not going. <laughs> Very well. well. That's fine. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Charlotte. Clumsy me. Wait, Mummy. I don't know why I didn't think of this before. Theodore's mom is great friends with Barbara Bush. Really, Theodore? Well, uh, yes, but you know, my, my mother doesn't like you. <laughs> and I don't like her. What has that got to do with anything? Caitlin, call her at once. Uh-uh. The woman scares me. Oh, she scares me, too. <laughs> I have known you for over 12 years. In that time, have I ever asked you to do anything for me? You asked me to marry, you know. <laughs> do it, Theodore. Do it, Theodore. Easy for you to say, just do it, and I'll call her right up. It's a problem if you don't talk. Hello, Mother. It's Theodore. <clears throat> How are you? I'm getting to it. Um, <laughs> uh, for the uh, uh, luncheon <clears throat> with <clears throat> Princess Diana, uh, uh, my mother-in-law. Okie dokie. <laughs> I look. <laughs> well, Theodore, will she do it? What did she say? When pigs fly. <laughs> I'm doing everything that I can, Margaret. I've got the entire staff working on it. I know. I know. I'll call you just as soon as I hear anything. Right. Any luck? Bernie, Jordan Miller. The First Lady's luncheon for Princess Diana. I need one invitation. What'll it take? 
Uh-huh. 50 yard line. I think I can swing that. Hold on. Well? Not yet. Smitty, Jordan Miller. I need two skin season tickets, 50 yard line. What do you need? <coughs> Condo on the fairway? <laughs> Not a problem. Hold on. Okay, we're getting closer. <laughs> it's Jordan, Todd. One week, the condo at Pebble Beach, what'll it take? <laughs> what? You want a street? Are you crazy? <laughs> okay, a street. Hold on. Damn. <laughs> Almost got it. Bernie's got his skins ticket. Smitty's got his golf week. Just one more. Ralph, it's Jordan. I know it's a bitch, but I need a street named after some guy's uncle, and he needs his answer now, and I'm holding my breath. Can do? <laughs> Can do! <laughs> be right back. <laughs> Bernie, you got him. Two on the 50. You're going to be able to hear the bones crack. Thanks for the invitation. Smitty, get out your golf clubs. You got the condo. Thanks for the tickets. Todd, what's the old guy's name? Yeah, yeah, he got his street. Great. Thanks for the condo. We're in business. Ralph, the street will be named Sid Lewecki Way. <laughs> great, great, thanks. What? Oh, right, I forgot. What do you want? What? Oh, God. What? He wants an invitation to the lunch for Princess Diana. <laughs> Well, Pierce? I'm trying, Grandma. <sighs> Pierce, what is the problem? Just punch up the guest list and enter my name. <laughs> I can't. Security's tight. How about the specs on the B-1 bomber? Oh. <laughs> Honestly, Pierce, your parents spent all that money on private school, and this is the best you can do? I'm sorry, Grandma. I tried. You failed. <laughs> I'm ten. And that makes it all right? <laughs> Goodbye, Grandma. Hello, I'm home. Don't get up. <laughs> How's it going, kid? Don't ask. You leaving? As fast as my little legs can carry me. Hey, stick around. I'll show you how to make an egg cream. Nice talking to you, Margaret. <laughs> Mommy, I'm so glad you're here. Look, look what I've got. An invitation to the luncheon. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Well, you know, his mother pulled some strings, isn't it? Wonderful. Oh, wonderful. Caitlin, I knew you could do it. Oh, I, I must, I must tell you, Caitlin, there is no greater joy for a mother. And, and I wish this, too, for you with Pierce. There is no greater joy than when a child grows up to be a friend. A true best friend. Thank you, Mommy. I'll never forget this moment. <laughs> Let me see it. Uh, uh. I've already picked out the most smashing outfit. Uh, uh. You picked it out? Well, of course, I want you to see it before I go. Go? Caitlin, this is Mommy's invitation. No, it's mine. <laughs> oh, please. Uh, 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 uh. No. It came to me, and I'm going. <laughs> well, all right, darling. Uh, if that's your final decision, but I, I, I do wish you'd consider one thing. All the other guests at the luncheon will be articulate, strong, accomplished women. <laughs> Don't you think you'll feel just a teensy bit inadequate? <laughs> no, Mummy. You can try to tear me down all you like, but the invitation came to me and I'm going to go. But I'm your best friend. <laughs> so I'll call you the minute I get home and tell you all about it. <laughs> to 
fight the effects of corrosion, the body of the Buick Regal has been built with two-side galvanized steel that goes beyond what most car makers use, beyond Honda, beyond Toyota. In fact, all Buicks are warranted against outer body rust through for six years or 100,000 miles. And that's a promise you don't have to take with a grain of salt. It's a whole new kind of soap because it works like a cleansing bar, a deodorant bar, and a moisturizing bar all in one. Give me three soaps, give me three soaps, spirit. Give me three soaps, all in one. New spirit. It's like three soaps in one. Boy, oh boy, are you gonna get it? You never believe what you're getting into. You can't escape, so you might as well forget it. Just wait till we get Jane Pauley, veteran ABC reporter Stone Phillips, and the best producers from 60 Minutes, 2020, and NBC News come together to bring you the most exciting news show in primetime today. Beginning March 31st, the world is on the line. Dateline NBC. Oh, Margaret, <coughs> sit down. Why don't you have a nice spicy fish ball? <laughs> Bill, just call them and tell them not to come. I will not sit across the dinner table from that thankless child. Margaret, we are a family, damn it. I am not going to let you ruin our weekly dinner because you and Caitlin had a tiff about a luncheon. Now forget it. It's over. Perhaps. <laughs> Hello, I'm home. Don't get up. <laughs> How does my girl like working on the hill so far? It is interesting as hell. You know, Pop, I never realized how many people it took to accomplish so little. <laughs> Isn't that remarkable? <laughs> Sophie, darling, <clears throat> here's an idea. Uh, your father, Pop, <laughs> always has a martini before dinner. It's, it's sort of a family ritual. As Bill's illegitimate daughter, perhaps you'd like to make it for him. Hold it. I've seen this cartoon before. There's a puddle of water and electricity, and bang, my hair goes all frizzy. Oh, Sophie. I'll chance it. <clears throat> Hi, Grandpa. Hey there, short stuff. Hi, Theodore. Hello, darling. Hello, Daddy. Mummy. <laughs> what are you doing? Making a drink. You're making my daddy's martini. Well, princess, you you can make the next one. No! It's my job! <laughs> Tell her, Theodore! That's her job, yes, sir. <laughs> I was asked. Mother, how could you? Caitlin, don't be so thin-skinned. After all, there are two daughters now. <laughs> oh, Margaret, you're good. I give you that. I can't believe you can be this cruel. I'm cruel. Every one of my friends will be at that luncheon. How can you not give me the invitation? Watch. Grandma, guess what? I'm planning to lead the school play. I never knew you had this mean streak. Mother, I got an A on my botany thesis. Really? I inherited it from you. I'm the Antichrist. <laughs> I refuse to stay here and listen to this insolence any longer. I will have a tray in my room. Don't bother, Mother. Pierce, Theodore, we're leaving. Hold it. No one is going anywhere except into that dining room. Now, we get together once a week to enjoy one another. And that's what we're going to do. How? Oh, everyone, march. We're going to have a nice family dinner. Don't you think we should find a nice family first? <laughs> Pierce, uh, you were saying something about the Antichrist. 
<laughs> I was kidding, Grandpa. <laughs> and he did it so well, too, didn't he? <laughs> no potatoes, no potatoes. Caitlin has a teensy little eating disorder. I'm recovered, you know that. <laughs> I'll have potatoes. I love potatoes. None for me. Or me. <laughs> Is that how you're planning on eating at the luncheon? Won't that reflect well on us? At least I won't be glaringly absent. <laughs> Caitlin has difficulty with criticism. Mother has difficulty with feelings. She has none. Oh. Uh, Caitlin, Margaret, I am no longer asking. There's no fighting at the dinner table. Of course, dear. Sorry, Daddy. Theodore, tell us about your day. Well, thank God it's almost over. <laughs> nice. <laughs> How about you, Margaret? Mm. Oh, you know, the usual. I went shopping. I had my hair done and, oh, yes, my daughter tore my heart out. May I have the salt? <laughs> tear your heart out? How can you tear out something you can't find? Oh. Kate, what a <clears throat> terrible thing to say. She is your mother. She deserves respect. Thank you, Bill. You see what I have to put up with from this selfish child. Well, maybe she wouldn't act like a child if you didn't treat her like one. And while we're on the subject, how come you're always putting her down? Uh, excuse me. Well, now, Margaret, I don't think I have ever heard you pay Caitlin a compliment. Yes, I have. No, you haven't, Mummy. That's not true. I always say you have lovely eyes. No, you don't. You say I have your eyes. <laughs> and they're lovely. <laughs> Not listening. Do you know what it's like to look at your mother and always see disappointment in her face? Well, of course I... Uh, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Mother, when was the last time you hugged me? Oh, no, Caitlin. Now, we hug all the time. We do. Hug me now, Mother. I dare you. <laughs> I'm not going to hug you because you dare me to. You're not going to hug me because you can't. Excuse me. Charlotte? Yes, ma'am. What time is it? Eleven thirty, ma'am. Well, I hope they all have fun at the lunch and then get botulism. <laughs> if you need anything, ma'am, I'll be upstairs doing, you know, made things. <laughs> oh, very kind. Charlotte. <laughs> Charlotte, you're my best friend. <coughs> Hello, Mummy. Oh, well, <laughs> have you come to gloat or just admire the cutlery in my back? Neither. I wanted to say I'm sorry, not for what I said, but for the way things turned out. I see. And I wish you were going with me. It won't be the same ridiculing people without you. <laughs> oh, no. I'm sure you'll do just fine. You've come a long way. You're your own person now. Yes, I Thank you. Mommy. Yes, dear? 
Do you like the suit? <laughs> it's stunning. I couldn't have picked a better one myself. Thank you, Mummy. <laughs> would have been more slimming. <laughs> oh, Bill, what are you doing home? Well, I knew you were feeling low, and I just thought you might like a little company for lunch. Well, yes. Yes, I would. What a very sweet idea. Uh, Bill, um... Bill, have I been a bad mother? Oh, Mark. No, no, really. I want to know. Have I been domineering? I, have I been self-involved, petty, judgmental? You, you really want to know? Oh, have I? Well, Margaret. <laughs> no, of course not. <laughs> See, that's what I thought. So bogus. This thing looks brand new, and I've been starting half back all season. But Mom uses new Fab Ultra. She says it gets out dirt you see and dirt you don't. Huh? Well, like perspiration and odors. Gross. With my Fab Ultra, the whole wash looks newer longer. Newer longer? How lame. Well, lame is good. Right? Mom, I look like I sit the bench. Oh, you look so handsome. I give up. New Fab Ultra helps clothes look newer longer. <laughs> The lady prefers Hanes. Hanes Silk Reflections Hosiery. That's what the lady, what the lady prefers. This woman has stopped changing her cat box, and it's never been cleaner or fresher. Thanks to new Tidy Scoop, with quick clumping action that eliminates germs and odors. New Tidy Scoop lets you face the world with the cleanest, freshest cat box every day. Coming up next, it's Empty Nest. And Sunday night, get ready for the big one. 40 million viewers saw it and said they'd never forget it. The critics praised it as the best television event of the year. The big one, the great Los Angeles earthquake, hits NBC Sunday at 8, 7 central. The night of a thousand laughs, NBC Monday. 